Okay, so here is Mr. Vélez to explain for you uh, this app is called Figure, uh, and we're going to start uh, building basic stuff. So here I'm going to have it in zone so we can start putting our name. This is our first step. And you're going to put your first name. My name is Jose, so I'm going to put Jose uh, Vélez, la, the first letter of my last name. Then I'm going to put the version. So here I am in version 14, uh, put whatever version you are, and then you're ready to go. Done, save, and then the first step, I'm gonna go on to in global. And I'm gonna, usually it's two or one bar, I don't remember, so I'm gonna go and hit uh, one bar. So I'm gonna hit one bar, sure, yes, one bar. That's mean I have four beat, so I have one, two, three, four, to start uh, doing a rhythm. I'm gonna start with drums, which is the basic. F first, I'm gonna find a drum that I like. Oh, I like this one. And you can prefer anything. First, start with your kick and snare, okay? Which is the basic. Usually, uh, the kick go, goes into beat one and beat two, no, beat three, beat one and three, and the snare in two and four. So it sounds like one, two, three, four. Start there, you can do a little variation like But keep that is in every pot some you're gonna recognize this and then clip record. You can experiment and this is gonna be error and try it and then try it and error. This is your click. Starting one, see? One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Here we go. And there you go. I got it. If I don't have it right, I'm gonna click record here and erase, and then I'm gonna erase here, clear, clear, but I like it, so I am not gonna erase. I'm gonna move on, okay? So now I'm gonna add, this is the hi-hat of the drum, which is in the corner of the drum, the little cymbal. And this is a little weird sound that I'm gonna, I am not gonna use, so I'm just gonna use the hi-hat. You can change here that the this is the tempo or, or the notes going faster or doing a little variation. Experimenting with that and see what you like it better. I like the one with 12, so record. And you can practice before you hit record, you can practice with play and check. Once you like it, then record. So I'm gonna record because I like that going back and forward. I like it, the drum is done. Then I'm gonna move now to the bass. Yoo-hoo, bass. Here I have the scale, I have the step of the scale. Here I have three notes, but I can have more, see? I can have the seven note which is uh, uh, D, uh, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. And then you have C, E, E, F, G, A, B, C. See, the seven note, but I can have less. I'm gonna have five. And if you have it in global, in here in C major, see, let me start with C, let me find the C. You can have it in any key. Uh, this is. Go on, Shane. No, changing now. Where do, oh, I changed it here. There you go. So here you change the key. See? And you can have a minor or major. I'm gonna put 
mayor. There you go, I find it, C mayor. But you can start in any place, okay? So then, go to the bass. Now, for sure, I know this is C. The darker one, they are all red, but the darker one is my root note, which is my C. This is another high C. This is a lower C. See? I can change here if I want more low or more higher notes. See? Let me... But now I have too many notes, so let me back it up. I, do, I want less notes, so... Now I'm going to find four notes that I like. Ooh, first try, I like that. So I like this one, this one, this one, this one. Once I find my four notes, my drum is one bar. And every bass is going to be one bar. But to record it, I have to change here into four bar. So I can record all those four basses into four bars. So I'm going to change it to four bars. Okay? So now I'm going to go to bass. And now I have the four bar. You can see it here. See? So I'm going to start uh, practice first. This is bar two, bar three, bar four. Now I'm gonna record. Bar two, bar three, bar four. I have a little mistake. I can fix it again. So let's see the recorder again. a little late. I can do it again. That's the idea. If I don't like it, but remember, you can click record here and then erase. And it's gonna, for sure, yes. So let's do it again. Still something here, but I am not gonna, gonna leave it like that. When you're done, you can then go to lead. Now, here is what you put the melody, okay? So, find the sound that you like. If you find that, that the sound is too loud, you can go to the mix and bring that down, okay? And mix later, but let's see. I like it, so I'm gonna use that, let's see. Play and play a little, uh, so don't record yet. idea now let's record and see this is gonna be a lot of trial and error one technique if you have the record and the play button is ready to go if you start playing it's gonna start right there recording so let's try that
gonna leave it there for time of uh, for time. I don't want to spend too much time, but you got the idea. So you can go to mix and start mixing. Here, when you adjust the bass. But now, this is where things could come very good. When you go to tweaks, you can put sound effects to your, so uh, to your so uh, sounds. <laughs> so let's see, uh, let's start with delay here. And let's listen. Play first, don't record yet. Play around and find a good sound. I like this one and this one, so I'm gonna record it. Here the effects. You have more tweak. You have here vibrato and performance, and then that you can keep uh, working and perfecting your sound. You have effect for drum, for bass, or for lead. And there you have it, see? So this is our first song. Let's listen again from the beginning. So thank you so much for watching and practice so you can, the better, the more you practice, the better you get. And uh, remember the first song that you're gonna be, is not gonna be so great. Once you go and do it more, it's going to be better and better. Thank you and see you until the next time.